In this chapter, what we're going to do is perform some GPS laser offsets within ArcPad. Some of the first things we need to do is we need to add a layer. We're going to make that layer editable. We're going to activate our GPS and then perform some laser offsets. So within ArcPad, we want to go on the top toolbar. We want to check, make sure the folder is checked. Then what we want to do on, in that toolbar, we're going to go ahead and add a layer. That's the uh, icon little square icon with a plus sign, hit that down arrow, and tap Add Layer. Now it's bringing up some default layers that I have in the system. And some of the, the layers I want to make active, I want to make a reference point active. I put a check mark next to it. And I also want to make a simple points layer active. Put a check mark next to it. Press OK. I'm back to the map. From here, I'm going to go ahead and activate the GPS. Under GPS icon there, drop down arrow, I want to go down to GPS preferences. Tap GPS preferences. Now I'm looking at different GPS protocols. I want to choose the correct protocol using the down arrow. And with this GPS device, I'm going to go ahead and use, choose NMEA 183. And then I got to choose the right port. Go ahead and choose the correct COM port. I'm going to choose COM2 NMEA serial port. I'm going to go ahead and use that baud rate at 4800. And there's some other preferences you can set, but we're just going to go ahead and let those default for this demonstration. At this time, just press OK. Now I'm back to the map. Now we'll go ahead and activate the GPS. You can do that by the GPS icon. Hit the drop down arrow and tap GPS active. Now my GPS act is active and captured my current location. Now we want to go ahead and make a layer editable. You want to see the top toolbar. You want to go over the icon with the pencil and the points, which is the edit layers. You tap it and now you've got a, now you see the toolbar menu. From here you see the little pencil. You want to tap that pencil, so we want to activate a, activate a layer. I'm just going to go ahead and activate a simple points layer. At this time, I want to go ahead and I want to do a, perform the laser offset function. I've got my layer active. Next thing I want to do is tap the, the far right icon. It's a dot with an arrow, which is the offset icon. Tap it, make it active. And at this time, I'm going to take a, a laser measurement over to the tree. Go ahead and fire the laser. The information downloads. And the point vertex dialog pops up. Now here you can verify your reference point. As soon as I did that, the, the, laser, the laser range finder took a distance and the GPS captured a, a reference point at that time. So here you're able to see that reference point information. You also to see the True Pulse 360 information, the bearing, the slope distance and incl inclination values. And you can verify if those are correct by viewing through the laser range finder, which they are. Now, what I want to do is I want to turn on some options. From here, I want to use the uh, arrows and I want to move over to the right. And I want to find a tab called options. Go ahead and tap it. Now it pops up a couple different options within the point vertex. One is offset direction from reference point. If I want to do a foresight to it, or if I want to do a backsight to my position. And I took a foresight. The next is a, the north reference. You can choose a true north or magnetic north. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose true north on this, so the GPS device actually uses its declination, applies its declination automatically. I don't have, true, I don't have a, a declination applied on the true post laser rangefinder, so I'm just going to choose true north. I can also enter an uh, observer height. I can also enter a target height. I'm going to use those as all default at zero. I press OK. Now it goes back to the point feature. This is where I'm going to go ahead and name that point. I'm going to leave it as a point five. Then I'm going to name it a tree. I can take pictures and add other attributes during, at this time. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. It goes back to the map. It shows my reference point by a red circle, 
and it shows the point feature with a, a green square. So now from here, all I need to do is take some more offset function, offset shots with the laser rangefinder. So I've got my reference point. I just go ahead and shoot the laser rangefinder to the next tree. The point dialog box pops up. I can verify that all the information, again, it's got my reference point, it's got my bearing, my slope distance, inclination. Again, I can verify that information viewing through the laser range finder. Everything looks correct. I don't need to go back to the options now. I've already set all my options up for this map. Go ahead and tap OK. It goes back to the point feature. I name this one tree is dead. I can take a picture of it, add some other attributes. I'm just going to hit OK at this time. It goes back to my map. That's a quick way to use the TruePulse 360 rangefinder and a GPS device doing a laser offset function. The next is I want to show you doing an offset function by map tap. So I'm in the same toolbar. I want to go over to the offset icon. I want to do the drop down arrow. And under there, you're going to see set reference point A. At that time, just tap set reference point A. And then just tap anywhere on the, on the map. When you do that, you're going to see a little, an A with a, a red circle around it. So now that's my new reference point. From here, I fire the laser rangefinder. The point vertex dialog box pops up. I verify the information again. I do not need to set up the options. I go ahead and everything looks good. I hit OK. It does my next point. I add some notes in there. Next tree. I go ahead and hit OK. It goes back to the map. Now I've got my reference point A and its offset function. As you notice when you went to the offset icon and then download and drop down arrow, you see different offsets you can do. You can do offset a point, offset a polyon, polyline polygon, do a linear traverse or radial traverse. Those are different options you can do with the offsets. So I want to go ahead and just do offset point again by, this, by map tap. I tap the map, fire laser range finder. It pops up my point vertex dialog box. I verify everything's OK. Press OK. I add some, add some notes to that point feature. Hit OK. And there, I've done five different laser offset functions.